Hi guys, today I have got another loop yarn video to show you. The other projects that I have for my YouTube loop yarn videos are um, a little bit more advanced. So this is hopefully gonna just be a beginner project for those that are just starting to play around with loop yarn. I'm actually making this video mainly for the, the girls at church. I am in charge of their activities and we're going to be doing like a zoom and we're going to be making this project. Um, it's scarves that we're making. So you're going to need two skeins of yarn. These ones are three and a half ounces each. And if you're unfamiliar with loop yarn, it comes with these loops already on it. So anyway, for the, for my activity days, girls, hello guys. Um, we are making scarves via Zoom, but I wanted to make sure that they have a video to come back and watch. Um, but I also thought that I would post it for all of you to watch in case you are looking for a beginner loop yarn project. So let's get started. We're going to use our loop yarn to make a simple, simple loop yarn scarf. So today I'm going to be showing you the steps for making it, but I'm not going to be showing you a final product because this is actually the loop yarn I'm borrowing from my daughter because she's going to be using it for the activity. Um, but you will be able to make a scarf, a full scarf by watching this video. I'll show you every step, just not the final product. So first thing that you want to do, start on a flat surface. So the floor or a tabletop, you don't want to do this on your lap, especially at the beginning, um, later. And once you get used to it, you can start, um, sitting on the couch and doing it because you'll be so used to the process. So sometimes you might have a little tail here. Um, we're actually going to snip the tail off. Don't get too close to the loop here. Just leave like a tiny little bit at the end because um, I don't want any tail to start out with, but that still should be secure. So we're gonna start out and make sure the loops are facing up. And we're gonna count out 10 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Bring the next bit of yarn over the top of what you're working on. And so we have our 10th loop here. We're going to bring the 11th loop up through the back of that 10th loop. And then we're going to move on the next loop along the new yarn here and bring that up through the ninth loop on this original row here. So just continue along bringing the new yarn up through the previous row of loops and make sure you don't miss any and make sure that they aren't getting like twisted or anything as you're going along. Okay. And then I'm back to my first loop here. Just do the same thing. And then what we've essentially done is with the new yarn created a new row of 10 loops. So we're going to take, I like to move the yarn to the other side and then take this last loop here and bring it up through the front and go the other direction. Just doing the same exact thing creating another new row of loops. Every once in a while, as you're working, make sure to take a break and check to make sure that you have 10 loops still. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then also you want to make sure to turn your work over occasionally to make sure that there's no loops hanging out or any gaps that you have skipped. If you do, as you're going along, notice that there's a loop hanging out. If it's not that far back, you can just undo a little bit of your progress and then um, work from the spot that you messed up on and go forward. Or you can also just take the loop and like weave it into some of the 
yarn in the back here. Um, either way is fine. I know that it's frustrating when you have to undo some of the work that you already did. So just continue along and this is basically what you're just going to keep doing until you run out of yarn on this skein. And this, what a skein of yarn is, is kind of like a ball of yarn. So this is a skein of yarn, just in case you were wondering, because I've had people ask. So I've actually snipped the, the yarn off here to show you um, what to do when you need to move on to the second skein of yarn. So say you're going along and you know you're about to run out. Just continue until you get to a point where you have three loops left on the yarn that you're bringing in. So there I've got three left to weave in. So you're going to take your new skein of yarn, take the first three loops and put them behind the three loops that you left over. So now I'm going to be treating these two loops, these two loops, and these two loops each as one. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. So again, I'm bringing this last loop here up to this one and I'm going to pull the two loops through the next loop on our piece just as if we didn't have this transition going on. So then I'm going to take the next two, pull those through from the previous row and then the next two here pull those through to the previous row. And since we only did three, those will be the only three affected. And they'll look a little weird right now, but once we get it done, it will blend in and you won't notice it. And then just continue along with the new skein of yarn as if that didn't even happen. And then when you come back the other direction, You'll have the spots where these three are two loops. Just treat them again like this is one loop, one loop, one loop, and bring the new yarn through the two loops for all three of those. And then it should get back to normal. So, and then just keep on going, counting to make sure that you have 10 loops for every row um, and checking the back over and over to make sure that you're not skipping any loops along the way. Especially as a child, you might want to make sure that they keep counting over and over again each row to make sure that they have 10. If they don't, they need to maybe undo a little bit and get back to the spot where they do have 10 or find out where they made a mistake. So once you've run out of yarn or the scarf is as big as you want it to be, you want to have two loops left over at the very end and cut those two loops open very, very carefully. There's just a tiny little thread that's holding it together in a loop and you want to cut the last two open. So that should give you a nice little tail to weave in at the end. So start at the opposite end of where the tail is. Take the first one on the row and put the next one up through the inside of the first one. So it might be left or right depending on what side you ended on. Um, and then go ahead and take the next one. It's kind of like a crochet move and put that one through the previous loop and pull up on that. And then the purple one's going to become my next working loop. Take the next loop in the row, put that one through the purple one, and then the blue one becomes the next. And then just continue all the way across until you get to the tail that we left earlier. So once you get to the end, you'll be left with this sort of braided edge. And then you'll take the tail that you cut off, loop it through the loop here on the end that's going to secure this loop so it can't come undone. And then you'll want to tie a double knot with this tail of thread here. 
make sure it is secure. And then turn the scarf over. So just imagine we have a whole scarf here. And then weave the tail in underneath these stitches on the back. So kind of go down and back up. And down. And then you want to go one way and then back the other way as well to make sure that it gets in there nice and secure so it's not going anywhere. And once you've got that in there, you can go ahead and snip off the remainder of the tail and that should hold secure and disguise the end of your scarf. So I hope that was helpful. I will try to um, at least come back in and add a picture of the finished scarf when my daughter's done making it. But again, I didn't want to use all of her yarn to make this quick video to show my primary girls. So I hope this was helpful and that you guys have fun making your first loop yarn project of a scarf. Big, long, just imagine scarf going this way.